What's the score? Don't know yet. We're looking for a cannon who binged a girl on the subway for a wallet. Will any pigeon hold with the mall buzzers? No. And we haven't got time to go through all those files. I thought maybe you knew of some first-rate grifters who've been working the subway for the last 24 hours. I happen to know a couple of live cannons that's been playing the subway the last week. Business has been dropping. You the victim's old man? No, he's the big thumb. Stripe job would give you more personality, mister. Did you get a good look at the grifter? Yes. Uh, medium height. Ah, uh, medium. Short, tall, light, dark, fat, skinny. Thousands of cannons look like that. It's the technique. Every one of them got his own trademark. Ah, look what that does for him, Tiger. It's yours for a buck. <laughs> All right. Uh, tell me, mister, when this happened? A couple of hours ago. Was he standing to the left of her, the right of her, or behind her? Behind her. Then he moved around and faced her. Carrying a newspaper? Yes. Rolled up or folded? Folded, I think. What do you mean, you think? What kind of a big thumb have we got here, Tiger? Listen, mister, you got to be sure. I tell you, all these cannons have their own way of doing things. All right, all right. It was folded. The top side was at the front page of the classified ad. Classified. Was he Southport? No, he used his right hand. He held the paper in his left. Did he hold it at an angle like this? Yes. Did you see him close the purse? Yes. Did he put the paper over it like this when he closed it? Yes. And the violins were soft and sweet, and so was I. I know. Mr. Zara, wait outside. Well, but take me just a minute. Mo, we gotta work fast. Look, let's not go into that again. Look, what do you want from me, Tiger? Do I personally raise the price on hamburgers and pork and beans and frankfurters? 